What's going on, guys? I think I'm live. Uh, I'll wait to see. You guys jump on. Uh, just let me know if audio works as well, some other time. And if the music is too loud. Hey, Bryson, how you going? That's three guys. I think we're good. It's always a bit different doing it this way. Um, just a heads up as well. I've got my little boy on cam here, so if he does wake up, I might have to run out and grab him and settle him as the wife is asleep. So yeah, as the music isn't too loud in the background, I hope uh, it isn't. Sweet as. All right, so what I want to cover on this live today, oh, just give me a sec. What I want to cover on this live today is go through the differences between a, a long and a short position and how it affects uh, your overall, I guess, position, um, dollar-wise and token-wise, and a, I guess, a buy and a sell and the differences between them. So a lot of people don't understand this concept and don't understand that once you start leveraging, even if it is a 1x leverage, you're not only affecting um, your token value or your dollar value, depends on which one you're trying to preserve or which one you're trying to, I guess, increase at the end of the day. But once you start from leveraging to it, it mixes a whole lot of other combinations into it. It changes a lot, actually. Uh, it's, it takes your risk and your reward a little bit further. So I'm going to be covering that in this video. I'm going to be... Um, sharing with you guys here live so we're going to be utilizing um bitmex's calculator it's a bit different uh there's a few things that you guys don't need to really look at you don't need to pay attention to but specifics which i'll go through which um we need to pay attention to and kind of go from there we'll also be doing some sort of calculations while we're here um and and just seeing what i guess what the differences are so let's get that started i guess Hey, sure. Hey, Kerry. Let's have a look. I'll try and interact with you guys on this live video as well. If I'm not being too loud, I'm really sorry in advance. Let's, uh, let's make this a little bit smaller. That's what we want to do. I hate this screen. <laughs> I hate um, BitMix altogether. I shouldn't say hate, I just dislike it. Let's throw this here. This will be our calculator. Over here. Google our little trusty friend. Um, Alright, sweet ass. So let's let's go through it and try and understand something, right? So we're gonna use a basic, simple example. I might throw a little notepad here actually. Give me a sec. Just for other people jumping on, so they kind of have an understanding of where we're at. So we're going to work with an initial dollar value of 10,000 USD. Let's use USD as a um, starter. And we're going to initial uh, BTC value. We'll use as one BTC total as well, just to, just to have an understanding of where we're at. So we can keep track of it. All right, so we're going to use a few, let's say, instances here. All right, so let's get this calculator out. I'm glad that we can kind of cover this because I mean the dollar value is okay to watch, but this stuff just gets crazy sometimes. So I don't even want to pay attention to it. Um, all right, so here you go. So I pretty much have that example as it is on a one leverage, right? So we, we're saying we have ten thousand dollars. Bitcoin is at ten thousand. That's our entry right now. We're entering at ten thousand dollars, and then we're going long, and we're going to exit at ten thousand five hundred dollars on a one x leverage, with ten k. Now, our entry value is one BTC because literally that's what we're doing there. Our profit to loss, our profit we take is zero point zero four seven six. Our fees is the difference between our margin there. So we don't really need to pay attention to margin. We don't need to pay attention to exit value or 
entry value because we already know what they are. Entry value is one BTC. We just want to pay attention to this profit and loss and what it actually equals um, dollar value wise. So we've entered a long, we've spent $10,000 on a long, it's on a 1x leverage and we exited at $10,500. Now our profit is 0.476, right? So let's just say it was 0.05 as our, as our profit, that's what we took. So now we go ahead and, and go, okay, so now we have 1.05 BTC and we times that by 10,500 because that's the current exit price that you took it out at. It's worth $11,000, right? Now let's do that for a buy position. So from doing a leverage position, we, we're actually $1,025 ahead um, from our $10,000 initial. Because we've made BTC on the loan, because it's a contract, right? You're, it's a perpetual contract. You're, you're, it's pretty much like betting at the end of the day. Um, and using leverage allows you to do that. So you've, you've made um, BTC, Plus, BTC has gone up in dollars. So, you really, you, you make quite a bit. What the hell is it? See, this is, this is why I hate BitMEX, because it just distracts the hell out of me. Oh, I don't want to look. I just don't want to look. Ah. <laughs> it distracts the hell out of me, and it's, it's really, really distracting. It takes my focus away from everything. Um, that's why I really dislike BitMEX and the way it acts. So, there you have it, right? You've made BTC on, on that long, but you've also profited a lot more. Now, let's say you bought a spot position. Right, so you have ten thousand USDT. That's what we start with, and Bitcoin is at ten thousand dollars USDT. So you go and enter, and now you have one Bitcoin, and then you exit at ten thousand five hundred dollars. Now you're from buying and then selling. You had one Bitcoin, and when you sold, you sold one Bitcoin. So your profit still, you still make a profit, obviously, because the price has gone up. But it's still only one one BTC, isn't it? So you see how a long versus a buy and a sell changes the whole metric. It changes everything. And so I, I, it's, it's, it blows my mind that so many people don't understand this. So many people in the space till this day don't understand that this is how trading works. Um, you know, there, there's so many different things, especially when you start going to, you know, taking longs and shorts. It's a different world, guys. Your risk is, just from a 1x leverage, is insane. Um, and your reward, obviously, is also, you know, compound in both ways. So just to give you that example, that's how it works from a position from purchasing and then selling that position to a dollar value or longing and then shorting. So now imagine instead of exiting at 10.5, you shorted at 10.5 and the price ran to $11,000. Well, you, you really just kicked yourself, haven't you? Because let's, let's do that, right? Let's go short now. Price is ten thousand five hundred, and you're entering with eleven thousand and twenty-five dollars because that's what we worked out before, right? So if we go back here, there's eleven thousand twenty-five. That's what we're going in with, and the price goes back to, and and the price goes to eleven thousand. So it goes it goes against you, right? So you've just lost what you made before, and I mean it's it's not too bad because now you're back at one BTC and BTC is worth $11,000. So you kind of like, it was kind of like a hedge trade. You, you know, you took the risk and it was there. But you've, you've just wasted that long that you took the, the risk on prior. So you've, you've taken a risk, you've made money. Then you've taken another risk. You've lost the risk that you made money on before. You've lost that opportunity, but you're still up in dollar value, which is okay. Um, but for most people, it just depends on who you are. Some people want dollars, some people want BTC. Some people make a certain amount of dollars and then they start stacking, uh, start stacking sats. So everyone's a bit different. The mechanics of it works differently for everybody. But I just wanted to share that and make people aware of that. So when you're long and short, it's a totally different world versus buying and selling position. Um, and you know, you guys have seen some of the screenshots that we've, that we've shown you from uh, Cryptify's Forcea bot. It's been doing amazingly well. Um, you know, on a buy and sell sort of metric in the last four months, it's performed at about maybe 280% now from, from memory. I can bring it up. Um, but from a long and short perspective, because you're taking that extra risk, and I'm only talking about a literally 1x leverage. We're not talking 2, 3, 4, 5x leverage at all. We're just talking about spot 
well, not a spot, sorry, a spot would be a buy and sell, but a 1x leverage long and 1x leverage short. And that's that's performed at about, I think now it's, a, it's, a, it's currently at 740%. And did take a short at two, oh, let me have a look. Just quickly have a look for you guys. 243.88 and had taken a long before that at 242.87 so it wasn't even much of a trade uh, in between but it's currently short from 243.88 or in a sell position depending on which one you like so obviously guys there is a difference in longing and there is a difference in buying and there is a difference in shorting and selling that position so I really hope that makes sense and if it doesn't please say something in the um uh, say something in the chat because I know so many people were confused about this. I know so many people didn't have an idea of what was going on there or why that that would happen. Um, but I tried to make it, I guess, as simple as possible. If I need to make it simpler, I will. So if you didn't understand it uh, and didn't get it, I can go through it again, hundred percent. And don't don't be afraid of putting your hand up and saying I didn't get it. I don't understand it um, because. It's not simple to understand, to be honest with you, if you don't know what you're looking at to begin with. But once you get it, you'll have like a light bulb moment and go, wow. Um, it's, how did I never see that? Um, but, but yeah, like I see so many people going with a 50, 30, 25x long. And the, the risks involved, or even a short, the risks involved in that is just, it's mind blowing. I don't know how people, when they, I mean, if you're playing with $100 and it's just for a laugh, okay. But if you're playing with a decent amount sum of your, or money or of your account as a percentage, I, it's not okay. Um, because you're shooting yourself in the foot. Because capital is so hard to preserve in this day and age. It really is. Um, and for me personally, uh, for, you know, for us as a team at Cryptify, yes, we want to be stacking stats. Yes, we want to be, you know, making Bitcoin, making Ethereum, and, and being able to purchase some stuff and make some Bitcoin on the side and put it on the side and purchase some old coins with that with that BTC stack that we have access. Understandable, we all wanna do that. Um, but let's face reality, guys, it's not always just about that. I mean, to, to go and buy groceries from a store, you need to make money. Um, so, you know, if you can make a bit of money here, here and there, even if it's just a part-time thing, just to be able to pay your bills and stuff, why not, right? But at the end of the day, we utilize the dollar. We don't utilize BTC. Yes, you can pay your bills right now, uh, in Australia anyway, from what I know. You can pay your bills with crypto. It's a service. Um, I forgot what it's called. I know I know uh, a friend that utilizes it or has us utilized it in the past. Um, Satoshi Living or something like that. I'm not, I'm not, don't remember. Don't quote me on it. But yeah, so I know there is stuff like that. But at the end of the day, let's just be real. You can't go to the grocery store right now and purchase with Bitcoin. Not here in Australia anyway. Um, not that I've seen, personally. So, if someone hasn't got that, when ETA... <laughs> Gregory ETA on the um, Cryptify Sports here, but honestly, we, we're not 100% sure if that's what you're referring to. Um, we were really hoping to have something going as soon as possible, I, I, you know, maybe even this week, but, um, yeah, it's just, I don't think it's a highly likely thing, I'm really tired, by the way, guys, sorry, um, but it's not a highly likely thing to happen, um, so don't, don't sort of, uh, don't hold me to it, but it is something that, you know, we, we really want to get out to you guys as well, um, and the... The main bot, anyway, the main one, is going to be quite pricey. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm just going to be straight up. It's going to be quite pricey because it's going to be very limit, limited positions. Um, and we have a liquidity issue, obviously. So, unless we work out a way to direct certain individuals to, you know, certain exchanges where liquidity doesn't become an issue, price will range, obviously, and entries and exits will be, you know, a few dollars maybe, sometimes off. Uh, not with Ethereum, but BTC for sure. I've seen prices vary you know, hundreds of dollars, especially if it's from USD to USDT. Um, so, you know, we might have, let's say, 50 people on one exchange and 50 people on another. I'm not too sure how that's going to work, especially with 
the way we're organizing it. Now we did build an API training terminal in-house, uh, but it needs so much more work. Um, we're probably thinking maybe two, three months more work to get that out if we were to continue development of it. Um, we've tried to build everything in-house until this day we have, but we believe going forward with the bot, um, with Cryptify Foresteer bot, and the sort of, I guess, because how do I explain it? So we have a main bot, and then we have multiple others that underlie um, that main bot and utilize the same sort of concept and have different ROI setups. Um, you know, we have a bot for BTC, USDT, long, short, BTC, USDT, buy, sell, dollar purpose, dollar purpose, uh, oh man, I can't even talk, um, preservation uh, bot. Then we have an ETH, USDT, ETH, um, buy, long, uh, sorry, long, short, and also a buy, sell one as well. And then we have Link, EOS, Ripple, um, BNB, so, so many, you, it's just, it's been a, a lot of, a lot of development on our end, a lot of work, and, you know, hopefully we get to showcase some of it to you guys, hopefully you guys get to utilize it, and Cryptify will be the sort of first people to utilize it, and because it's limited, no one else is really going to be able to get to it anyway, because, you know, from seeing from what you guys have been saying within Discord, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any room for anyone else to really get into it. But, it, but we're opening that up and, you know, we're, we're going to be looking at different options as to, you know, having room in different tokens as well. Obviously, the ROIs will vary majorly. Um, so, yeah, at the end of the day, you know, we, we can't wait to get it out for you guys. So, Gregory, I hope that kind of answers your question. But we don't really have an ETA. You know, best case scenario, two weeks time, three weeks time. Uh, worst case scenario, maybe a month and a half out. So... Yeah, I, I can't really answer that question. I wish I could. <laughs> 100% bracing as well. You know, making sure your dollars are safe is probably one of the hardest things to do in crypto, especially when you look at the the trend that we had in 2017, 26, late 2016, kind of felt like where we are right now. Um, with everything starting to pop off and we can see crypto stats showing us that sort of data as well. It's really cool to see crypto stats showing us that data. That, Old coins are starting to sort of breathe some life, and they haven't had that for two years. And then in 2017, you know, we took off nice. We, we hit a parabolic moment, and you know, we, we did. I did mention it, you know, that 19 sort of K range. I think it was like 19.7 or something. It's it's probably time to, to sell something or you know preserve your dollars here and look for entries lower. You know, and um, dollar cost averaged in downwards. So 11, 8. Five and then three two was that was the marks and if you had put 25% in every single one of them you'd be killing it right now and we can see three two was the absolute bottom and the way that I had calculated that and um, utilized some sort of fundamentals as well with Kurt Conley was let's have a look at the total mark cap as we are right now when we were at the all-time high and then let's utilize the what where it would be sitting at about a hundred mil um, and and sort of get a scope for everything and kind of put a dollar value on everything because if Bitcoin was, if Bitcoin comes down traditionally dollar value everything else falls down and the market cap is not based off Satoshi value is it? it's based off dollar value so you can kind of give a peg a sort of a price you know it will vary give or take five ten percent some might you know really vary some may not fall hard so that's how we worked out the free two sort of range and we can see that that's you know that's where we actually ended up going to let's have a look actually on uh, I think BitMEX will very high, highly vary actually. <coughs> Not too sure where it is, but I'll find it. Three five. Doesn't look like BitMEX went down there unless it's in the next wave it is. Mm, is it? No. Maybe it wasn't here somewhere. I'm just not zoomed in enough to see it. Which one is the lowest candle? There it is. 3189. Uh, so if we go to the low of this, 3121, 3189, and there is no lower really than 3121. So yeah, BitMEX did actually vary by maybe about $70 there, $60. Uh, I know most of them were about 3180, 3170. So you know, to hit that, 
bottom and actually catch that because I'd probably never do it ever again to be quite honest with you guys it's not something that you just do you know you have to really be in the loop you have to really understand what's going on and have an understanding of where everything is and how everything comes together at the end of the day um, so yeah enough of that I hope everyone got the uh, video and understood the actual concept of longing shorting versus a buy and a sell position um, what else is there to cover? I mean, you guys saw the, uh, the TIS alerts, right? <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I'll bring over uh, Discord. Should be okay to bring it over. Just give me a sec, guys. Let's get this nice and clean in here. All right, sweet. So just in Discord as well, if you guys haven't realized yet, um, we had TIS alerts as a like a channel sort of or a category. Uh, as you can see, you can close them off. And whatever you haven't seen, whatever gets kind of pink, you get a it goes bold, and you can you know see that you haven't read that message in there, or there's a message that you haven't read. But we had this TIS alerts here category uh, open for a while, but there was obviously nothing in them, right? Now we've tested everything, we've set them all up, and now they've actually, they're actually locked. So you won't be able to see this until you subscribe as a TIS uh, subscriber. And we'll be walking through all that, and we honestly, we're like, how do I call it, 99.999% done. Uh, we're just literally, we're attacking our own software, <laughs> trying to break it. Um, just because we want to make sure that once we release it, it works. Uh, we don't want to release it and then... A few days later, it breaks. It's just kind of like CryptoStat.org at the moment. It's been flowing, and no issues at all. I think two weeks now running. So that's that's the that's what we're aiming for. We're aiming for quality products and services rather than you know just punch them out, get it out, and then something breaks. And you know we don't we don't really want that. Um, so you can see that that's the sort of setup that you're going to be getting. Now let's let's actually just go through what we got today. So today I shared some. And we're going to go through them just to show you guys that, hey, I'm not really messing around. We actually got these alerts today. So we got Litecoin there, um, Binance, OMG, uh, Ripple, Engine, ENJ, AIN, uh, XZC, Cardano, WAN, SIA, which is cool to see. So we had SIA. Um, Ping as a buy and on the short term at 25 sats on the 3rd of the 6th, so 10 days ago. A few days ago it pinged as a sell at 32 sats and now it's pinged as a buy once again at 30 sats. So you can see the short term sort of trade is generally from 2 days to 2 weeks, it could be less. You could literally get an alert today for SIA and tomorrow you get a short term sell alert for SIA. So you might have a little loss or a little gain there. But just to let you guys know, and sometimes they may take more than two weeks. Sometimes I've seen tokens sit up there on TIS. I've seen tokens sit up there for a month, a month and a half on a short-term buy or a short-term sell. And it's really interesting just to watch TIS do its thing consistently, time and time again. Believe it or not, TIS is a setup that we found NEO with back in the day. TIS is a setup we found ETH with and to actually pinpoint a trade. Uh, that was around 2 million sats. And it went all the way up to 12.3 or something like that million sats, or the, the high. Um, and the exit was around 11, 8 mil sats on ETH. Um, NEO was about, I think, I think it was 38,000 sats from memory. Um, and the exit for NEO was at like 1.1 million sats. So it's a big, big change there in sat value. And then Raven was, <laughs> Raven, I'm wearing a hat, I'm pretty sure, yeah, I am. Um, the Raven, Raven was actually won through TIS as well. You know, ICX, back when we were doing, we, we shared ICX, the entry at around 36 to 3700, I believe. Uh, sorry, no, uh, 1600 to 1700, I believe, and it went to like 5,000 sats. But the reason we called off the trade was because of, you know, the Matic, that Matic dump day. It really threw all technicals out the window. Um, TIS just lost its nuts and just went I'm, I'm done I can't calculate on this insane market but we've worked through that and we've really ironed out TIS I think and we will continue to build on it as well so that was really interesting to see Sia coin back then 
entry at 25, exit at 32, and entry again being pinged at 30 sats. So yeah, you would have made some money 25 to 32, and now you've also made some uh, like you know dollar value or sat value in going at 30 and pick up the same amount of CR that you sold at 32, and um, I guess have a bit of Bitcoin on the side, or you can pick up more. So it's really cool to just see that happening, and you guys got, got to see at least something happen in there as well. But um, and Tezos, Tezos is one of my favorites actually. Um, yeah, Tezos banned Link, but I feel like Link's pushed a little bit. It needs to relax. Raven did call on a, a long-term buy. I mean, where is it? A yearly trade buy. I'm pretty sure there it is. So three month to 12 month trade on Raven, on uh, FET, ONG, and BRD. I believe BRD took off today, actually. Hmm, let's have a look. 1133. Well, there you go. 1133 to 1225. It's starting to show you guys that yeah look there is something happening here <laughs> there is something that works the whole setup works so you know we'll just look forward to actually making this work for you guys and you can see on a monthly here as well it might be crossing soon so let's get rid of that let's go to the um, short-term sales so we also shared these as well today with you guys bank called BNT um, ELF NKN and uh, WRX actually a short-term sell so keep an eye on these ones guys and you know obviously BTC has been a bit shaky you know the whole market even the stock market's been a bit shaky oh, where's that thing actually I want to show you guys this because where is it here it is so <laughs> this here I ended the live video the other day and we calculated everything up until Sol and stupid me didn't know that we had more come in. I thought these were tests, because I thought we were trying to break it. But Rand had already come through and deleted the ones that we were trying to break. And it actually gave us more to come in. And so we, we totally missed these. Um, and we missed the calculation on them. But if you look at CHR here, just as an example, 225, I think it went to 500 or something. Oh, let's go daily for a sec. Yeah, 519 right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. God damn it. There it is, 519 right there in the top right hand corner. Uh, in the top of the screen right there. So from 225 to 519. That's... What is that as a calculation? Um, let's have a look. I know I'm using an all-time high and it's not, it doesn't make sense to. But just to show you guys, 130%. Ridiculous, just to see one of them. So I did miss a few the other day in the live, but it is what it is anyway. So I've shared this with you guys as well in here. Uh, where did I put it? I put it in this active chat, didn't I? Here they are. So if you missed it and you're on Facebook, but you missed it in Discord, here they are. I tagged everyone as well because I just don't want people to miss out and I want you guys to be able to track it. You know, even if you paper trade it, uh, even if we're 100 bucks in or 50 dollars in each one, just just to see, uh, and also the sellers as well. Keep an eye on them. Obviously, it's a sell position. I mean, you could go FTX and short them, but I just I do not recommend that. So <laughs> I'm just saying uh, it is a possibility these days to short altcoins as well. But there is a few sellers in there as well for you guys to keep an eye out. But yeah, guys, it's really really cool to see um, you know this whole Discord really light up, really getting. I'm loving the vibe in there, it's so cool. Also, if you haven't realized, we have Tisbot here watching the market. So, if you haven't realized the bots in here, we have the Cryptify one, which is in our CS channel. So, you can pull up volumes and whatever whatever it is that you want to look at, charts, anything you want. Um, in the crypto market, you can literally look up. And then Tis is actually just watching the market consistently. When it grabs a trade, it will throw it into uh, the Tis Alert section. And this is where you would be getting them if you are a subscriber when we're not subscribed yet there's no subscri subscription available yet just to make that clear as well uh but hopefully in the future in, in, in the coming future so uh let's have a look i mean just the chat in here in bot trading in tis active chat and crypto stat um, channel just so freaking cool to really see everyone talking 
We also gave a three day subscription um, to about 10 people this week. So once those 10 people have, have you know, rolled over and got to try out CryptoStat, we're looking for the most active people within CryptoStat because how do we know if you're even active? Like we have 760 people in here uh, and on Facebook as well. But how do we know as a team if you're active or not? We, we don't know, right? So if you're talking in the, and you're about and you don't have a CryptoStat subscription you, because you just haven't got around to it or you know, you don't, you're, not, you're unsure still and you're just kind of sitting around waiting and seeing what other people are doing, you know, there's people killing it. Tommy's absolutely killing it. Um, uh, Agapi's absolutely killing it. There's, I forgot his name, but there's one guy that's absolutely smashed it just off TIS alerts that we've shared. Um, you know, done some really good money, that made some really good money and ROI on it. So it's just cool to see it all happening. But literally, if you're not around and you're not, you're not talking, we don't know if you're around at all. Like, there may be some people that haven't even looked into Discord or the Cryptify web, um, Facebook page for the last month or two. And that's understandable with what's going on in the world. We totally get that and we're not, we're not pushing anyone to. Um, but, you know, if you're around, please be talkative because, you know, we're, we're happy to answer any question. We're happy to help you in any way we can, whenever we can. Yes, we're busy. We're busy as hell. Um, but we will go out of our way to make it work for you. You know, sometimes I say, give me an hour and I'll get it sorted for you. And then three, four hours have passed by and I'm just like, oh man, I said some, I, I said to someone, I'll give me an hour and I'll, so, you know, please like forgive us for that. Um, you know, we, we do run around and do a lot of things and we also, you know, have, we have life as well, kids and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, if, if you are around, please be talkative because that's the only way we're going to know to give you a 10 day, uh, sorry, a three day trial to mess around with CryptoStat and have a look at it, you know, and we want to make sure what we're putting in here and the content and the effort is actually, you know, worth our time. We want to make sure it's worth our time uh, because we can see it's worth our time to so many people. I'm sure others can be benefiting from it as well. So, yeah, guys, I mean, I've covered the, um, the this here, the difference between a long versus a short and a buy and sell um, and how that works. I was going to do an infographic, like I said, but Damn, that was hard. I was I was trying to make a video and, and cover this. That was hard. I thought the only way of doing it was to do it live and people can actually replay it as well. If it doesn't still make sense, please let us know, like I said. Um, I think that's about it. I don't have anything else to really cover on this live, guys. Let's see what questions are going on here. Nothing. Sweet as. <clears throat> hey, James. <laughs> Miners. <laughs> Great to see you too, man. David, finally got alive. <laughs> Hi, Andreas. All right, guys. Well, you know, there was obviously there isn't many people online right now. Don't know why. Maybe just not awake. Uh, it is currently. I don't even know what time it is here. It's one seventeen a.m. where I am at the moment. So I'm gonna do a few more things, wrap it up, and then head to bed and get some sleep because I'll be waking up with little monkey at about six thirty-seven. So. Cheers guys, I hope it made sense, um, and I'll catch you guys on the next live video, hopefully we cover something else that, you know, people haven't, or if you have anything that you want to cover, let me know and I'll, I'll get it done to you guys. I also, actually before I go, I do want to go through CryptoStat again, live, so I'll be doing that maybe tomorrow or the day after. Um, if someone from the community wants to jump on with me, that would be cool. This time I'll make sure that people can hear you. <laughs> Uh, I know Kev Rev, no one could really hear him, but I, I wish they could because he, he was saying some cool stuff and some funny stuff. And um, I really enjoyed doing that, to be honest with you guys. Um, engaging with you guys is something that, you know, I look forward to and the whole team does. Um, and we just want to be winning all together. And that's, that's, that's the objective at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I've got nothing else to really cover tonight. So I'll peace out on you guys. Take care, and I hope I hope you got the the whole analogy and the whole understanding behind what I was talking about. Cheers, guys. Take care.